news. Moss the Chronicler, who said that the land of Valisthea is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else? Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. Alrighty. I said focus, uh, Wyvern. Welcome to Final Fantasy 16. 
Uh, that was an interesting start. They really just throw you in there. <laughs> uh, so the game started with us, I guess, controlling uh, maybe Phoenix as uh, she was fighting Ifrit. Interesting. Uh, so it seems like this game is going to have a pretty significant focus on summons. Uh, I'm not sure what they're called in this game. Uh, maybe Eidolons or, or Icons or something. Uh, and that kind of gets to uh, one of the more interesting aspects of this game right off the bat, which is that uh, this game is produced by Yoshida Naoki, also known as Yoshi P, the uh, sort of... I guess, big brain behind Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and he has a real interest in in summons as weapons of mass destruction, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, just shouting out some other names. The game was directed by Takai Hiroshi and uh, my hero Kazu Toyo, I think is what his name uh, was. And uh, it was written by my hero Kazu Toyo as well. So that's pretty sick. Uh, Creative Business Unit 3 is behind the development of this game, uh, which is an internal team at Square Enix. Uh, and yeah, I've heard some really cool things about this game. I've been looking forward to playing this for quite a while, uh, basically since it was announced. Uh, this game has a lot in common with... All hell is about to break loose. Uh, this game has a lot in common with what we know about a old pitched sequel to Vagrant Story, which made me immediately very excited, and it seems to be very similar in concept to a lot of the Evil East games. So, yeah, I was uh, very, very excited about this. So, let's get going. Time to move. All right, it's got analog movement. That's cool. Just in time. Oh, brutal. Right off the bat. This reminds me of the opening of Lost Odyssey, which also opens in the middle of a uh, war zone. He's so baby-faced. <laughs> the Mitra Stronghold. I mean, this does sound very similar to the Final Fantasy XIV soundtrack. You refuse. Did you not pledge your swords for our cause? Oh, it starts off with politics. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. And you have His Majesty's answer. <sighs> Interesting. I'm liking this setup already. summoned us at all have you so little faith in your own men it was the Dalmex who drove back the crusaders in the battle of the twin realms was it not or am i mistaken 
Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. Hmm. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? That man is huge. Holy crap. The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. Fuka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on storm. This game is over. This is already like aesthetically entirely my shit. I love this. <laughs> you cock. <laughs> <laughs> take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Wow. I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. She's scheming. <laughs> the front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Alright, so I guess we're starting off as some kind of mercenary. Now we know a little bit more about how the politics are set up. It's clear that we're like a, maybe a contracted band of some kind, or, or a special forces unit. Whoa, we got a, we got a jump button. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Very pretty. Honestly, kind of interesting. Uh, let's look at the options menu. All right, options on the systems tab, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Uh, let's see. I have friends who have been, who have had very strong opinions about uh, the control scheme for the game. Nothing here seems particularly wild. I guess this is tech. This is like the Soulsborn one, so we'll take that. Why not? Uh, so gel size medium. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't matter for that. Audio. Okay. Uh, I want to turn this down. This up. and uh, turn controller audio off. Cool, okay. That should make hearing people a little bit easier. Oh, look at that it's got a little it's got a little dude it's cool there's like little sprite art uh okay i think we're ready to go back
Oh, oops. Uh, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Hmm, let's see. Hopefully this next cutscene will let us know how the audio is. And quick and deadly, as Better. always. <sighs> Take the van. Oh, take the van as in the vanguard, right? That's Wait. what that's what he means. Something's not right. <laughs> oh no! Oh, gross fingernails. <laughs> Titan. So the Darmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Who's here to greet the bastard? Come on. Ah, that must be Shiva, then? I was so prepared for a QTE. <laughs> you don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! <laughs> it's funny that they just like swear all the time. dynamic battle situation going on right now. I 
I told you before, you do not get to die here. Brother. So is that literally his brother or a co-worker brother? So is this him from the past? Yeah, 13 years earlier, Year of the Realm 18 or 860. Interesting. Do you yield? Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> Right. Is Go that on. the kid? You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. Wait, are those the two people from Plague Tale? Huh. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> two arms. Then. Wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Attack the Lord Commander. This looks like uh, the the area in uh, the like first episode of Game of Thrones where they're teaching them how to sword fight. Mm -hmm. Once more, please. All right. <laughs> Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Oh, Come so we have... Rain fire down upon me. We have magic. Okay. Keep them coming. Okay, so it's auto targeted. Excellent. Interesting. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? It can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all. Your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Five Rossfield. Okay. So that's his name. Evade four times. Oh, evading at a, uh, an attack at a precise moment it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy. Okay, so we have a uh, we have witch time. Keep trying, Clive. I'm 95% sure that's the kid from. Good. Uh, play Move tale. only when you must. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, so that's actually a really how did you dodge that? Uh, generous dodge window. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. Well, I'm waiting. Better just fight him now? Oh no, this is a gap closer, okay. Phoenix shift. The blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix Shift is one such iconic feat. Press L2 to swiftly close in on a target. Shift attack. Both melee and range attacks. Can oh, okay, gotcha. So we can just. Was it all our shields could move so swiftly? I see. Intriguing. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. 
And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Okay. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. The Fort of Lord, does that mean we're part of the knighthood or does that mean we're royalty? That's what I'm curious about right now. Simple items, potions, tonics can be used to restore class HP or temporarily boost attributes, blah, 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 item shortcuts. That makes sense. All right. That'll have to be for now. Probably should have just used a high potion. Oops. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rosfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. How that, me boy. Make proof of your strength. Breaking an opponent's will. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back, break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they're invulnerable. Okay, interesting. So this is, it's using a Sekiro style posture uh, mechanic, but it's also, uh, it reminds me of like the bravery HP system from Dissidia. That's kind of an interesting thing. That's probably where they got their design idea from. Go on, you're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. Oh. Come on! Ah, you're taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. Nice. Okay. Okay, so he's staggered. Oh, okay, so interesting. It's using the stagger mechanics from Final Fantasy 13. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Deal try dealing as much damage as possible. You can use four, uh, square plus R1 to execute rising flames. Well, it's time I took my own advice and used all the tools at my disposal. Not quite. Go on, Clive. Keep pressing. Just a little more. We believe in you. I'm 100% sure that's the brother and sister from Plague Tale at this point. I'll have to look that up. Amicia and Hugo, I think, are their names. Ah. Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame, and let no one tell you otherwise, including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. <laughs> this game is interesting. For a Final Fantasy game, it's definitely taking its time in the beginning to, to kind of go anywhere, but it's also immediately throwing us into things in a really interesting way. I'm enjoying this a lot so far. Also, I just looked it up. It is Hugo and Amicia from the Plague Tale games. It's Logan Hannon is the boy. And, uh, sure. what's her name? Charlotte McBurney oh, is the girl. Died. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. 
My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. <laughs> You're coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Father's back. Hey. <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. See a ward? Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Hmm. Murdoch. Your Grace. I'm trying to understand the familial relations going on here. It seems like a really big factor for this game right away. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. Hmm. We should join them. Oh man, are these gonna be chocobos? How cool are they gonna look? <laughs> the answer is very cool. <laughs> That's great. This is really neat. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust? Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Julia and I went to the bay to watch Clive spar. Is that so? <laughs> Quiet, Toro. Stop it, boy. Not now. He'll make a fine hound one day. They're just really Jon Snowing Father. him, I think. <laughs> Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, father. Okay. Your grace. Hmm. Shields dismissed. Yeah, this is pretty Game of Thrones already. You can definitely see the influence. Not that Game of Thrones has a uh, monopoly on like medieval politics and stuff, but there's a lot of similarities immediately. Well, puppy. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. All right. So it looks like we've can finally explore and check some things out. Finding your way. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3. Trust your animal instincts to point you in the right direction. Be 
There's trouble brewing. Ah, I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. All right. Can I interact with any of these N NPCs? Doesn't really seem like it. Go up here. I, I immediately saw something up here when we were fighting. Need to shift this lot before we lose the light. I right. can't get over there. Probably gonna have to go around. I'm assuming all of these little glowy spots all are right. gonna be Let's get this stuff. just items. Yeah, finding items. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Items discovered can be viewed on the items tab in the main menu. Interesting. Okay, and you just auto pick them up. Okay, and NPCs that have stuff to say will have dialogue over you them. You put on quite the show for us, Lord Rossfield. Any man who can do that deserves to be first shield. Age and experience be damned. You put on quite the show oh, for okay. us, Lord Rossfield. Let's walk away from him. Don't eat that apple without washing it. Good as new. Uh, uh, no, it's not. Forgive me, Lord Marquess, pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. <laughs> It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Huh. Stand, please. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. <laughs> As do we all. He's trying to be a nice dude, I guess. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> In as much as someone who <laughs> uh, lords himself over serfs can, I suppose. Oh, but he has the same tattoo that he'll have, so maybe that is uh, some sort of mark of servitude. Interesting. Very curious how that will develop. Uh, before we head forward, let's just look around real quick. Can't actually interact with anything, I don't think. Time to put an end to that. I assure you, my lord, my man and I labor always for the glory of the duchy. His name is literally Slave Master, so that's not great. We don't love that. Kind of politicking be damned. That's not great optics. These guys have anything to say? Yep. To call shield. No one is to enter the dungeons, including you, my lord. Gotcha. So those are the dungeons. So yeah, it definitely seems like the world is in a uh, kind of a place of, sure of war care, and fighting. Remember, it is for us to protect his highness, not the other way around. I know that. Hmm. Alrighty. What do they have to say? Forgive me, my lord, but I need to finish inspecting these crystals. Wouldn't do to give our ah. soldiers spent shards. So this game must be like Final Fantasy VI, then, where people get their magic directly from from having crystals on them. I mean, like in the lore like of the game. they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Oh, water-producing uh, crystal. Interesting. I'm having my bearer fill the well. 
Best to save what crystals we can, eh? So what is a bearer then? I mean, obviously it's their term for like slave, but but like, what does it actually mean? Still setting up a bunch of really intriguing, bizarre questions so far. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. Intriguing. Alright. Got a high potion. Not too bad. I can't sprint, it seems. So that's something we'll need to learn how to do eventually. Alright. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? Oh. There's Joshua. So, uh, one of the main plot threads of Vagrant Story also involves a little uh, medieval child named Joshua, Joshua Bardorba. So I wonder if if this is also a homage. In fact, they look very, very similar. So if this game was indeed uh, heavily inspired by, by what could have come a Vagrant story, then I'm sure we'll see some of those plot threads come through. Alrighty. Clive? I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. Interesting. I know. Thank you, Clive. I just realized the game, when we just get thrown right into it, starts with a fight between Ifrit and the Phoenix. Or at least it seemed like Ifrit to me. So, clearly, Joshua does get involved in the war in some capacity. I'm all right. I promise. Intriguing. You will put Joshua's comfort and safety before your own. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes, Your Grace. <laughs> all right. Duchess Annabella. Pretty harsh. Make an effort. Some large gates and stiff levers require extra <laughs> effort to operate. Use X to access them and then hold R2 to push or pull with all your might. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Intriguing mechanic, but okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Let's see. Make for the throne room. How about before we do that, we go everywhere else? <laughs> Good luck. Cute. Commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Your mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? <sighs> Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. 
Huh. The iron blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. Cinematography isn't too bad. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> kind of a playboy king. I will do my duty, your grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, your grace. Okay, interesting. Active time lore. Hold down the touchpad to access the active time lore feature. A compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression in ATL can be viewed during most cutscenes. All ATL entries can be accessed later in the game. Oh, so there's like a... There's a active time event uh, system in the game that teaches us about things. All right. Rosalith Castle. Situated in the heart of the D Ducal capital of Rosalith, uh, or Rosalith, it is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family ruled their nation. An architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of, the castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of the proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. Mother Crystals. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Velistia. Or Veliste? Velistia? I'm not sure how it's actually pronounced. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twins rely on in their everyday lives. The twins. Are we in a twin solar system or a, a twin planet? Binary? Binary solar system? I'm not sure. Interesting. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. The Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm, with Rosalith as its capital. Rosaria was originally farmed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the Boiling Sea. I'm loving all of the lore that's just getting dumped on us right now. <laughs> Elwyn Rosfield, Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. The Iron Kingdom, also known in the local tongue as uh, Heron, the Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital capital at uh, Craig Loise. Oh, this is like uh, this is all going to be what is this Gaelic pronunciation? Craig Loit, maybe is how that's pronounced. Uh, we'll see how accurate that is. The Mother Crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of a long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely, largely inward-looking culture. Okay. So it's a little lore encyclopedia that gives us some info about the immediately relevant info. It's cool that they uh, they give you that little like mind map space that's just right like just stuff that has been introduced right here that's meaningful. That way you don't like end up 
overloading yourself reading 2,000 lore entries and, you know, miss the forest for the trees. Kind of interesting. <laughs>